Hi, we've been getting a lot of questions asking how our white seats are holding up. So we've had the car about two months now and I'm gonna take the car seats out, um, which is probably the area that gets the most dirt on it from the kids. You can see right here where our little one's rear facing, we try to keep it covered, but there is a little bit of dirt here. We haven't washed it off yet. Um, but let's see what's underneath. The big reveal. We try to not give them food, but we still get a few snacks back there from time to time. So here you go. If you've got any kids, you know how even when you try your hardest to stay clean, you still get a few crumbs out there. So again, these are the vegan ultra white interior. Um, obviously, six seat interior, and Tesla recommends just a wet rag, a warm rag. And the seats have been touted as being stain resistant with a stain resistant coating. In fact, Elon Musk himself said that the seats performed better in stain resistance than did the darker colors they offered. So again, here's a close perspective of the mess that's left behind after two months. And that is from a 20 month old that's rear facing. Correct. Okay, and now our four year old seat. Let's remove this one. It's super heavy and I think the, latch the tether is... is still... I unhooked it but forgot to loop it. So you see a little bit of indentation from the pressure left behind from the seat itself. But Our four-year-old is much cleaner. It looks pretty good. I'm actually... I think this too you know, within like an hour or so, it would probably go back to normal. Yeah, I've, I've spoke to some other ex owners and they've said the same thing. Within a couple hours, the seats do regain their previous shape. And with leather, oftentimes, especially older leather, you'll have creases left behind. This kind of reduces that being that it's synthetic leather. So there you go. So we are going to clean these up, take a look at them and see how they clean up. But first, I'm going to do a little bit of testing <laughs> here. Popular, popular demand here. We're gonna do a little stain resistant testing on them. Fingers crossed this. <laughs> get, get your towel, get your towel handy. All right, first step, I'm gonna try my coffee, which is probably something that people are drinking in their car all the time and spill a little bit of coffee. Um, and I'm just gonna put a little bit down. This is a soy latte. <laughs> I guess that makes me nervous. Let's <laughs> give it a minute. And I would start wiping it. Wipe it up because we're getting nervous. <laughs> All right, I didn't want that to go in the crease, but it did. And that's, you know what? It just wiped right up. So that was great. Next up is something that the kids like to drink, but we don't let them drink in the car, just some apple juice. Um, don't want it to get too far in there, so I'm just gonna go like that. Again, it always seems to want to go to those little creases in there. Um, but everything's just going to wipe right up. Yeah, so this stain resistant coating uh, is hydrophobic according to Tesla as well. So and you can really see that with the apple juice. Look at that. Yeah. It's just like falling right up. Yeah, there's no absorption whatsoever. I mean, the only minimal absorption would be in these creases um, where the seats are stitched together, but there isn't really much. And that's another reason why we chose not to do the perforated seats um, was because we do have small kids and we just didn't want things seeping into those areas. Yep. So how about if you're having burgers and fries in the car? <laughs> so we have our um, ketchup here. And I'm just going to do a little dap of this and maybe give this one a second or so. Because hopefully, in theory, you would see these type of stains right away and you wouldn't give them that long to soak in. Um, are you ready? Go for it. All right. Oh, I mean nothing. It's incredible. It, right? <laughs> it really is. Honestly, there's like nothing there. Yeah, it makes you think about the darker seats that you probably don't notice things on and you just kind of sit on and they bake on and you know, you just don't notice them. They're there. They're dirty. At least this one, you wipe them off. They're clean. So we're going to vacuum this, out this corner here. I don't get the ketchup side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, 
everything just really wipes up super easily. So what I noticed up here, Kim, is right at the edge of the top of the seat there, somehow his, gr dirty hands. his grimy hands got up there. Those are probably grimy hands or a fit because he doesn't want to sit in his car seat because yeah. he's in his terrible twos. And trying to get these creases right there as well and we'll see how that handles it. I mean, I feel like it's just wiping right yeah. off. These non-perforated seats are stunning in person. I just love the way they look. Yeah. The perforations are pretty cool Perforation too. Perforation looks really cool. Yeah, Honestly, and it's a sportier look to it. Consider it that but much. I mean, you'd imagine all these little tiny pieces of food would be wedged right in between there and Elon Musk himself took to social media and talked about if you've got kids I recommend not doing the perforations in the seat just because less less food being having to be pulled out of those perforations. The other side too. Stick so it in one of these many cup holders. Wipe okay, everything. I mean, this seat actually is barely anything. Our four-year-olds don't yeah. make a job. So yeah, once you get past those first couple years of age, I think <laughs> it's pretty easy to have them keep it clean. But yeah, we've got a one and a half, almost two-year-old, and a four-year-old. So you can see the difference between the seats and their consciousness. And in fact, look at this: the seat, as far as the indentations, already starting to see. Pretty significant improvement in the seat regaining its shape back right there. So um, there you go, we've got the seat backs covered in this case because you can see his feet go up there. Um, you'd you know imagine that being that it's this shinier material, it wouldn't you could wipe it off as well, but we just like protecting it there, so there's that. And there you have it, stain resistant testing, <laughs> proven to be effective, at least if you catch the stain initially, whether it's coffee, and we've spilled coffee accidentally um, as it is and seem to have no problem, just like you know it was right now, getting it out. So, and we're on a, on a slope as well, so everything was draining back down into the creases, but even still, stain resistant coating does its job. <laughs>